Leon to this little video of um, Chris Brown interacting with Lizzo at some event somewhere backstage and I've seen a couple of videos of Chris Brown like this before I think I've seen him with LeBron James is it LeBron yeah I think it was maybe LeBron it's at some sort of outdoor space and they kind of cross paths with each other and it looks like LeBron's talking to him and you know Chris is doing the same like kind of twitchy crackhead dance that he's doing here in this video and again you know calling him a crackhead is obviously is a bit mean but we all know that he likes to 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 get on the slopes as they say right there's many videos of him that we've seen so far allegedly um you know doing a couple of old cheeky bumps in the club and whatnot which is cool do what you want in it and i think for the most part musicians or most part fans who kind of are reluctant to believe that their favorite you know rock star r&b artist which he definitely is a heartthrob a kid a guy that's essentially been the the you know the obsession of young girls all around the world from the time he was a young young boy himself right um is not unlikely to see that somebody in his position going through the things that he's gone through especially with the whole rihanna stuff that he would be in the state that he's in now it's more admirable when they don't turn out like this it's more admirable when they're just like clean cut still the same pure soul that they were when they first got into the industry but the industry corrupts you you have many pressures around you um you've got loads of money you get loads of attention you know attractive mixed race guy is always going to get attention anyway but then add to the fact that he can sing and he can dance his face off it's just you know it's just it's a cheat code right uh, then he gets jumped into a gang celebrity gangs allegedly again i don't know if that's true but allegedly he's he, you know he's got some real ties in that respect don't get me wrong you know like it's not surprised that he's going to be in a situation where this could be the case but it is a little bit sad to see him like this in that regard because again like i said i think he's still one of our greatest um you know male line reacts especially when it comes to consistency especially when it comes to catalog like he's got albums that's when i knew there was an issue when he dropped when he was dropping albums of like 40 songs i was like okay i know a session when i see it i know somebody that's gotten on it sent a couple of too many texts to people to do sound engineering and go to the studio they've arrived now and now you have to follow through and then now here we are with the 40 40 plus track album that he gets annoyed when people don't listen to the whole thing it's like <laughs> geezer you know listen you're singing for two and a half hours i mean i've got work to go to i've got to look after my kids <laughs> i can't hear you hear you flipping crying about karuchi and subtweeting her in your raps and stuff i can't do it but this is this is yeah this is interaction with chris brown and lizzo backstage somewhere and let's just say he looks uh worse for wear allow the girls as well period for what everything is a period isn't it like i guess figuratively it makes sense but jesus look at it look 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 boom boom twitch twitch but i don't know if he's doing that thing where like you know when you're twi when you're on it and you get twitchy and you've got the kind of the clams and you don't want them to get near you and touch you because you don't want them to you don't want them to know right but it's quite clear isn't it because i think that's the weird thing as well i think it's a hip-hop thing or it's a black thing for whatever reason doing you know smoking weed drinking lean even is more acceptable or popping percocets is more acceptable than being open that you might like to do heroin being open that you might like to do coke being open that you might like to do crack all these sort of things that clearly some of these people are doing because we all can't believe we all don't believe that famous dex is just high off weed and pills we all know there's more than that it's a cocktail of stuff and when people like unfortunately r.i.p the great michael k williams passes away and you know it transpires that he was doing heroin recreationally everyone's like oh my god you know what i mean but it's like what do you what do you think these people are doing in their spare time when they don't have things when they don't have stuff to occupy their time um when you have a family it's, it's just difficult do you know what i mean i i definitely sympathize with all that too much time too much access too much money um too many labelers all those things play into it but again it's just a. I also feel there's a lack of kind of upfrontness about what's actually occurring behind closed doors which again leads to the position that we're in now but again can't blame it on that because it's still chris brown's a big boy he needs to kind of figure out a way to kind of make this better for himself but you'd hate to get to the point and again god forbid anything bad happened to him but 
I'm really going to look at you weirdly if you're a celebrity out there and you suddenly come out with, again it's not your business to come out and say I know but if something terrible happens to him and you, everyone's coming oh I wish I could have helped to do this. Mm-mm. you could have helped by saying something you could have helped by even saying something to him privately but you didn't because you want to be in his good graces and make sure you get tickets to go to whatever event or you get his tickets to go to his house parties which I know to be legendary and all that stuff you just kind of keep your things yourself and let the person be self-destructive when really just reaching out and even just saying something just so you acknowledge it is a good thing i know for addicts usually it's not the best thing from what i read when you go out and kind of approach them that way i think i've read something similar to like approaching an addict before they're ready to change and telling them maybe they need to fix up their life is similar to like lending a friend some money um they will end up despising you right like later on because they were put in a position where they have to ask their friend for money so it's actually not so they they always say if you end if you end money to your friend like an actual friend also accept the fact that that person probably isn't going to be a friend anymore just because the dynamic has changed all of a sudden right maybe more so in their head than yours because you're willing to give it but they can they're always going to seem subservient and always going to feel a way that they you had to kind of help them out and sort of pull them out from that dark hole they were in but seeing chris brown like this i don't know man it's just not the funnest thing <laughs> That's all that twitching. Right? Let's, let's take off the sound. But yeah, it's all that twitching. If you're not watching this, he's in a white t-shirt. And there's a couple of girls. Well, Lizzo and another girl. Lizzo's hugging him, by the way. So he's kind of pivoting away with his crotch. And stuff. He's doing it just to like not be me too Then he kind of bows down a little bit and keeps backing away. But he just looks a little bit twitching and whatever it may be. Now, this also could be because this is how he is he might have adhd right because a lot of people don't this is a thing with people i think they say a lot with um who is it kim kardashian i think um a couple of people that i know who work retail in like suffrages and harvey nichols and stuff whenever they've seen it in public like jesus you don't believe how actual how small she actually is until you see her in real life she's tiny allegedly right because i guess in instagram the the proportions are off right in general social media people that you think are taller aren't really tall people are short are a bit tall i don't know just a bit off so for whatever reason again i, I don't think she's six foot tall but for every reason i don't you have in your head that she might be i don't know five ten five eight but suppose she's even shorter than that she's like under five six or five five or something so when you see them in real life like that it's probably you're also going to notice other things about them that you don't really notice before like i remember one time Again, bad example, but I saw a video of JT from the City Girls walking. I was like, Ugh, you know what I mean? Because she doesn't walk that great in heels. But because you just see how attractive she looks in a 2D image, you've never actually seen her walk. You don't really, you know what I mean? It's, again, it's no one's business, all this monarchy. But I'm pretty sure maybe this is one of those instances as well. Again, I'm, I, maybe I'm projecting and I'm just kind of wanting to give my guy, Chris, um, Christopher Brown, um, some rope here or you know give him the benefit of the doubt but it also could be that it also could be that he's always been like this like he's always been a bit twitchy adhd which is why he's a great performer and maybe it's been amplified with the with the drug use but uh i don't know man it's just sad to see in it but yeah hopefully he's okay hopefully he has the right friends around him that can help him and i guess like i said before with the john jones thing until you're ready to make a change in those kind of things it's legitimately a waste of time for anyone to talk to you it does absolutely nothing i i, I think it's similar to when like you're overweight and people say you should work out and do this it's like i'm not gonna do that until i decide it's important enough for me to change my life and the things that i do in order to do that i will if not they're just not going to do it so it can sometimes be a bit of a mute and waste of time a waste of a time to kind of you know a waste of waste of time and waste of breath to try and get people to come around to those kind of things next